Uh, thank you. Uh, I noticed, uh, Sylvia, the recording has started. Thank you very much. Uh, Sylvia, thank you for the recordings last week. And can I draw everybody's attention to uh, the, uh, the fact that there are uh, recordings of last week split up into uh, several subsections up on YouTube. Uh, I've posted the slides also all to the same page. Um, um, the recordings and the slides are all on the same page and can be found here. And we'll try to do it again this week. We're a little bit short-handed, so Liz Lovegrove is on holiday, so it means we'll get the, uh, the rough recording of the Collaborate session will be available immediately after the session, but the nice uh, YouTube chunked up, uh, loaded up uh, um, content won't be up until Monday of next week. Um, Francis's slides are already up on that page that I gave you a link to. And Francis, I hope you don't mind. I uploaded them to my SlideShare account. It's just the easiest way to do it. I credited you with them, uh, but it was just the easiest way to get them up and back out to the rest of the world. No, that's not a problem, uh, George. We just need a bit of cross-linking, because what I'll do after the session is um, do an after version with the annotations on them. So yeah. I'll, when I've uploaded that, you can link from where you put yours to the other one. Does that make sense? That does make sense. Um, what that the the annotations will be in the video. Um, in other words, the annotations that are on screen here, unless you're making, unless you were going to um, uh, edit a PowerPoint version to pick up the. Uh, annotations that are on this screen. The annotations on this screen won't go into the PowerPoint any longer. The annotations on this screen go into the Collaborate video screen. Yeah, video screen. Don't worry, George. I've done it before. I'll, I'll send you, uh, I'll post a link to, to one that I've done before. I go through the video and take a screenshot and put it oh. back into the PowerPoint. So, not a problem. Yeah. I'll post the link. Great. Thank you. That's fine. That's, that's that's pragmatic. <laughs> I like I like pragmatic solutions. Um, does anybody in the room have any questions relating to any of the issues that we're aware of in, in the running of the MOOC generally? Um, there does seem to be a question about whether participants can um, see who all of the other participants are. And um, there was some discussion that Jenny and I were having this morning. Um, Ben's been doing some wiki cleanup indeed. Thank you, Ben. Um, slides for the live session from last week are up. Um, they're up for this week, and then they'll be replaced with the annotated ones. The transcript for week two discussion. Um, yeah, week two is the only uh, one of the um, first Steps Curriculum Week that doesn't have a transcript. Mary provided it to us just before she went off on maternity leave. I tried to transcribe it myself using um, Dragon Dictate, and that was entertaining but not particularly accurate. Um, the, uh, as Jenny observed, it does appear as though Mary has a transcript and may well have been reading on it when she made the presentation. So I'm going to chase up the uh, transcript and see if we can get a transcript up for week two. Otherwise, we'll get it typed up and uploaded. Um, because of the um, number of people applying for assessment and the delays that that's caused us in processing the assessment group, we have extended the deadline for activity one. Um, and I could just say, oops. Um, we've extended the deadline to Friday the 1st of June. Um, I think that 
most people who are already in the assessment group have, have submitted, but there may be people who join the assessment group relatively late. Uh, that's not a problem. Obviously, we won't uh, hold it against you. Uh, <laughs> Lucy, yes, Lucy, yes. Um, uh, oh, good, yeah, glad to see you, Lucy. Uh, I understand that, that you hadn't realized that the course had actually started, but um, now you're here, and that's brilliant. Um, how many? Thirty-one people. Okay, um, Francis. I think we're just about up to the um, time to start. Um, aggregating blogs is the last point that I was going to make. I think we have gone through all of the blogs that were on the registration document and blogs that were on aggregate my blog and have got them up. There were one or two that for various reasons there seemed to be faults with the feeds. Uh, Joe was able to sort out those pe people who have um, edu blog, WordPress edu blog feeds for Socia and Haley and I think several other people have accounts on edu blogs. It's a great service. Um, it's a great service. Um, thank you, Ben, for the note on saving the slides. But the edgy blog, for some reason, the edgy blog WordPress feeds didn't resolve um, into clean XML. Uh, but we fixed that. So those are now up there. So Sia and Haley's blogs are being aggregated. Um, so if anybody who's listening to this or listens to it subsequently um, believes that they, they aren't represented in the community blog stream, uh, do send us a message and we'll try and fix that issue. Um, Francis, I think just for, for people who have just arrived. Jenny, you've got a uh, hand up, George. Thank you. Yes, Jenny, go ahead. Hi, George. Um, just wanted to point out that there are a couple of um, questions th that maybe we should clear up now in the chat. Um, one is, uh, Lisette is asking, how do you tag your posts? And Chris uh, is asking, how do you know whether you're in or out of assessment? Uh, thank you for fitting those questions uh, back from the chat stream. Uh, in or out of assessment, I sent an email uh, two days ago to everybody who had requested assessment. Uh, we took a basically first come first serve approach and um, in, we, we could handle a total of 30 people on the assessment group. We had uh, 21, then two dropped out, leaving us 19 giving us space for 11 more. Um, I invited 12 people on the grounds that somebody might drop out. Might drop out. Um, uh, Ita John did drop out. So uh, I've invited people, but I haven't had responses back yet from those who were. Uh, so I've had it. So I sent out two emails, one to the people who we uh, wouldn't be able to offer, we felt we wouldn't be able to offer places to, one to people that we felt we would be able to offer places to, and I'm still waiting to hear back from those who we've offered places to. Fred, I'm not, uh, <laughs> have you pre <laughs> Fred, have you pre yourself? Uh, I don't think you've pre yourself. Would, uh, do you want to be in the assessment group, Fred, because at this point there is space. Um, uh, Lucy, you're in. Um, I, I, I'm running off the top of my head, so I don't really want to make too many uh, quick decisions. Um, I will send out another message. I can send out another message at the end of today uh, or first thing tomorrow morning uh, reminding people. But if we've not received your application form, uh, then, and then you're not in the assessment group, if, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm trying to keep on top of 
the, the people who are sending their forms back and allocating them to tutors. Um, and what was Lizette's question? It was about how do you tag your posts to make sure that they appear. Oh. Uh, you need to tell us what tag you use or what category you use. I don't know what blogging system you use, so it's a little bit, uh, it depends on what, if you use WordPress, the easiest thing to do is to set up a category called FSLT12 and make sure you assign your posts that you want to be aggregated to the FSLT12 category. You could use any other category name you like, just tell us what it is and we'll grab that category. If you use Blogger, the process is slightly different. If you use other platforms, TypePad and so on, again, it's, it's a, a similar approach, but you need to let us know what category you want to use. So you choose the category, you tell us what it is, and then you use it. Quite a few people um, asked us to aggregate blogs, told us to use the category or tag FSLT12, but they had no posts categorized using that tag. Um, so consequently, nothing would be consumed. So you have to remember to tag, tell us what tag to use and then tag your posts with that tag. Um, and if, if both of those things are done, then your blogs should be consumed um, quite readily. Um, make sure George knows at the end of this session. Um, okay. Thanks, Chris. Um, 